All right, finishing chapter five in the workbook as well. So workbook page eighty-five to eighty-eight. Um, problem one, right? Uh, five pies were shared equally among three girls. How much pie did each girl get, right? If you solve this problem as your model, right, you can uh, take and you can draw your models, right? You can draw your pies, five pieces. And there are three girls, they each split into three pieces, right? So, every, every single girl take a piece of that. How many? Uh, this is like one third, right? One third, one third, five times, right? This is gonna be five times, five over three, right? Or solving as a fraction, same thing. Five pies were shared among three girls. Five pies divided between three girls, right? This is improper fraction. We need to make it a mixed number, so it's going to be one, two over three. The answer is four. Yeah, this one. Next one, find the value. Three over eight times 32. Okay, so three over eight times 32 is the same thing as three times 32. 32 goes to numerator, right? And you divide by 8, right? You simplify these things. This is going to be 4. This is going to be 1. And 12. 12 is your number 2. Right, next problem. One third of, num of number is 16. What is half of this number, right? So if one part of 3, right? One part, one unit out of 3 is 16. What is, what is this number, right? We need to multiply 16 times 3, right? In order to know 16 times 3, we will know our number, right? And they're asking us what is the half of it. Half of it. This number. This number is 48, right? And the half of it, 48, what is the fraction? Half of it. What is one? What is... 1 over 2, right? We divide 24. 24 is your answer. 3. Okay, next page, right? So, here, you need to solve these problems. Problem number 1 is the addition, right? Again, do everything step by step, right? First, add your whole numbers, right? So, this is going to be 5. Keep the fraction. 4 over 5 plus 1 over 2. Different denominators, so bring them to common denominators times 2 times 5, right? 5, 8 over 10 plus 5 over 10, right? Which is going to be 5 and 8 plus 5, 13 over 10 as an as a improper fraction, right? Now, this is the whole unit, 6 and 3 over 10, right? So your answer is 6 and 3 over 10. Okay, I'm going to erase this thing. Okay and uh, solve the next one, right? So same thing with subtraction. Six minus one, five. Keep the fraction. Three over four minus half, right? Different denominators. So uh, you bring them to common denominator. Five, three over four minus two over four, which is five and one over four. The answer is five and one over four. Next one, find the value of mul here, multiplication, right? So before you do, you know that you need to multiply this number and this number, and then divide, and then this number and this number. Before you do, see how can you simplify. This is divide by 2, so it's going to be 8. This is divide by 3, so it's going to be 3. And it's going to be 8 over 3. As a mixed number, it's going to be 2 and 2 over 3. Right? This thing. Right? So again, break it. Right, I'm gonna remind you, two plus five over eight. Don't transform this fraction into improper fraction. Times 17, right? Two times 17, right? It's gonna be 34. Plus, this plus, 17 times five, times five over eight, right? Do your math. If you do everything correctly, it's gonna be 44, and 5 over 8, right? Okay, next one, uh, find the sum 
uh, of this number and the difference between this. So first you find this, first you find this difference, right? So 3, 1 over 2 minus 1, 3 over 5, you're gonna get a number. And then this number and then this number, you, you add them together, right? And you will get your answer. The answer is 2 and 1 over 5. Last problem is the product, right? So before here you multiply, um, you simplify, divide this by 4, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 2, right? And then you're going to be 6 over 7. That's, that's the thing, that's your answer, 6 over 7. Okay, let's check section C. Uh, Mr. Park sold 135 uh, bottles of juice in one day. He sold one third of the bottle of juice in the first hour, two fifths of the bottle of juice in the second hour. Right? How many bottles of juice did he sell together in two hours? So we have two parts. We have, uh, yeah, one <coughs> one hour, right? One hour is one third of the whole bottles plus two over five in the second hour. Right? This is first hour. This is second hour. Okay, so we need to calculate that. You can see denominators are different, bring them to con common denominator. 5 over 15 plus 6 over 15, right? Answer is 11 over 15. So that's, that's what you write. He sold 11 over 15 of the bottles of juice. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to write that, but... I'm gonna read that. He sold 11 fifteenths of the bottles of juice, 11 over 5 of the bottles of juice in the two hours, right? Next one, so uh, we need to know how much is this part, right? This is, this is what he sold, this is the fraction of what he sold in the whole day, right? And we know what he sold in the whole day, 135 bottles of juice in one day, right? And this is 99. He sold 99 bottles of juice altogether in two hours. 99. Okay, <clears throat> next problem. This is the remainder concepts, right? Oh, part of the remainder. Uh, okay, let's bring it on. A baker made 160 sandwiches. One fourth of the sandwiches were egg sandwiches, the rest were tuna and chicken. The number of tuna sandwiches was three times the number of chicken sandwiches. Right, how many tuna sandwiches did the baker make? So you have your, you draw it, you have your hole, right? Okay, and how many total? <clears throat> how many total? Total, you know, total is 160, 160. Right, so you know that this part, this part, egg, one fourth of the sandwiches are eggs. Now, this, this part is the remainder, right? So we can... We can draw it again, this bar, this bar, right? So this bar, we know that the number of tuna sandwiches was three times the chicken, right? So we, we can split it out into four parts, right? And we know that this is tuna and this is chicken, chicken, right? Okay. Now to understand, to understand how many tuna sandwiches did the baker make, we need to bring everything, all our model, to one system, right? Co common denominator or same units, right? Same type of units. And if you draw an accurate picture, you will see that you can split out like every unit over here, the big unit into three like this right and you will see that this unit over here is 4 and this unit over here is this 4 and this unit over here is this 4 and consequently this unit over here is this 4 this 4 right this 4 okay which makes it 16 units 16 units we know the total, 16 units is 160. One unit, very easy, 10, right? It's 160 divided by 16. Nine units. We can see now that the tuna sandwiches is nine tuna, tuna over here, yeah? 
nine one two three nine units so nine units nine times ten ninety that's your answer ninety the baker made ninety tuna sandwiches okay last problem in this chapter at a circus one fourth of the audience were men two fifths of the remainder were women and the rest were children there were 132 women in the audience how many people were there in the audience okay so you draw your model right the total total visitors or total audience right and you divide it into four parts right this is the total audience and you know that one fourth of the audience, one fourth of the audience were men, right? So you draw it, men, yeah? And the rest, the rest is remainder, remainder. So you draw your remainder again, right? This is your bar. And now you know that two fifths of the remainder were women. So you split it out nicely into five parts, right? And now you think about the remainder only. So this two-fifths uh, were women, two-fifths were women. To be precise, they tell you 132 women, 132 women, right? And the rest were children, children, okay? All right, so this is what you do. If you're, if you're two-fifths, Two fifths of the remainder of the remainder of the remainder remainder is equal to 132. Those are your women, right? One over five. One over five of the remainder remainder is 132 divided by two, which is 66, right? So what is your remainder? Remainder is this. Total five units, right? Total five units. This is your remainder. So remainder, remainder is 66, one, this is one unit, times five, right? Which is 330. There were 330 women and children together. Women and children in the, in the audience. Now, okay? Now let's think, this is the remainder, this is 330, right? We know that our three units, three units is 330, right? So, what is one unit? Well, we, can, we can calculate right away, what is... Uh, it, okay, let's do it step by step, right? So three, three fourths of the audience, of the audience of the audience is 330. One fourth of the audience of the audience is 110, right? So what is the total number of people? 110 times four, 440. This is your answer. There were 440 people in the audience. All right, uh, thank you for watching now. For those who stayed, I will show you the answers again from the solution book from them and you can see the pretty pictures and pretty models and copy that.